let's take a look at colour work today. With colour work, what it means is on one row or round, we're going to work two different colours. I find the easiest way of doing that is by using one hand for each of the colours. So this colour I'll hold in this hand and this colour I will hold in the left hand. The other benefit of that is that it allows you to control the yarns more easily. You never have to put any down. You can just use a different finger for working. So what that means when I'm working this side here, I'm throwing the yarn with my hand this way. And let me just tension on this side. And when I want to work this yarn over here, I pick through like this in the continental style. So you're never crossing the yarns and with a bit of practice, you can pick up speed so that you can go almost as fast as stockinette stitch. Now you can see here as well that this finger is holding the yarn up higher and this one is holding the yarn down lower means that the one up higher, the stitches are going to be pulled a little tighter and you're actually going to end up with slightly smaller stitches so that it's going to, it basically it allows the yarn to pull back a bit, makes the stitches a little um, fade into the background. So you're best off holding that side with the background color. And then down here, it's not going as far to make the stitch. So the stitches are allowed to be a little bigger. So your left hand can be dominant, the stitches. And it means that if you're going to use a foreground or a pattern, that you're best holding that in the left hand. So it, it, I mean, if you reverse it around, it's fine, but just keep it consistent so that you don't have the pattern changing halfway through. So I'm just going to alternate every other stitch here just so it ha how it works like so. For the right hand here, just going to work like this. And then the left hand, just hold my finger up and pick it through. The biggest problem you'll discover with this is actually tensioning, just keeping the tension of each. When you're doing color work as well, if you do a couple of stitches and then you go to pick this one up, you can see that it goes behind a few stitches. So what you want to do is kind of stretch it out a bit. And then when you go to work the next stitch, it means that you're not, pull, no, if it'll actually decide to go through for me, it won't pull it through too tight because you want that loose behind so that you don't create a pucker in it. So that is very bare bones basic of how to do two-handed color work with the yarn in each hand.